Hey guys, up Sarah making a new video for you guys. Um, again, I'm back with a mediocre microphone, um, which I'll explain in a second. What we're doing now is I bought 2,000 cannonballs, which cost 500k, unfortunately, and we are going to go do our cave horrors task. A um, couple things to talk about, um, other than the sh situation I was just going to mention. Um, I retook the SATs t today, which uh, I think went pretty well. I mean, it went pretty good. As I mentioned in the last video, I got an 18-20 on the uh, the first time I took the SATs back in May, which was um, you know a month ago, as I'm saying it, as if it was like like a year ago. But um, yeah, so that I think you know I already got pretty good scores as you could as you uh, can determine there from the 18-20. But um, if you don't know anything about SATs, there's three sections: writing, critical reading, and math. And I got roughly the same on all three of those. Um, except a little bit lower on math, but they all added up to 1820, which is pretty good. So that's that. Um, if you notice some background noise, um, don't really mind. It's just the air conditioning, and uh, you know I'll have this audio quality thing uh, figured out pretty soon, and I'll explain that in a second. Basically, what happened was I got the core, I, as I mentioned in the last video, I got the Corsair Vengeance 1500 by uh, Corsair, of course, and the issue was there was like some weird feedback issue with the microphone um, and this would only occur when the when the micro, microphone was in use when it wasn't in use there was a very low hissing sound which was kind of annoying in itself but like if I open Camtasia and I select the microphone as the uh, Corsair or, or any other program that records audio for that purpose and um, there'd be this like high pitch sound that would be very annoying so you know I went through went to Amazon and I had it have them had them send me a replacement, and that one had the same issue. And I figured, well, all right, it's probably, maybe it's my computer, my sound card, whatever. So I go to another computer, my Windows XP computer downstairs, same issue. My uh, Windows XP computer upstairs, I had to go, like, plug it in because I, I don't really use it anymore. And plug a, rather, plug a monitor into it. It's it's still plugged in down there. But um, same issue. So then we get the, I get the replacement, same thing. So I look it up online. It turns out there's other people with the same issue, but and it was mentioned mentioned in a few reviews. I did a lot of like studying before I bought this headset. It was um, one of your guys' recommendations, and so what I did today, I called up Amazon. I said, okay, I need to kind of return both of these because they're just not working properly. And uh, the lady on the phone, you can I could have done this through uh, just Amazon website, but since I was returning both of them, I wanted to make sure I was getting the money back. So uh, I dropped off both of them at the UPS place in the same box that they came in. So that is the end of that. Um, but I am still going to get a new headset. But I'm going to take um, the majority recommendation from the uh, last two videos. You guys recommended the si Steel Series Siberia V2. Now Steel Series, I'm using their mouse pad right now. It's actually kind of nice. So hopefully their headset will be just as good. I, again, I did a lot of research on this too because I was... Um, considering this before I got the uh, Corsair and so hopefully this will uh, you know suffice or whatever but I oh, forgot to drink the little potions here you know it, I, I read the reviews it the you know some people complain that the the base wasn't as strong as it should have been um, some people felt like the headband didn't feel so great but overall the reviews are very positive I looked up a bunch of reviews on YouTube and people seem to like it, so hopefully I'm going to be st getting sticking with this one. And uh, another perk with this one is that it's not a USB headset like the uh, Corsair was. It's a 3.5mm uh, jack one, like the little circular ones like an, on an iPod. I actually just call it 8th inch. I don't know why people like to use the metric system when this is, you know, America. But, um, oh well, I mean, and we're the only one who uses that shit. I mean, the people in the UK, I guess they don't, they probably don't even know what an inch is actually they probably do because America's kind of you know overbearing now that was an SAT word today I, I don't think I'm supposed to talk about the test even though people were talking about the test during the breaks during the test like oh what was the answer to on that mess I don't know I, I don't want to get involved in that and have my scores invalidated but it certainly happens so I'm using the Logitech H540 right now which on the I don't know in the video I recorded with this which has bad audio quality, like sound quality, but the microphone's also a mess too. On the uh, last video I recorded with this, like it would kind of go in and out, like with the microphone, 
recording level. Like, it'd be like, hey guys, up and and this is what we're doing now. We like go up and down randomly, and uh, maybe that's Camtasia doing that with this specific microphone. I don't really know, but it's not a big deal because I'm not going to be using this one for anything but a backup headset. And the only no annoying thing about cave horrors is that they take like an hour to respond. And this is a pretty popular world. There's about like 1,300 people on this world right now. Um, if I go to World 2 or 1, usually there's people there already with cannons. Um, if there's not, uh, people like get pissed off. If you're like doing Slayer and you bring a cannon somewhere and there's already people there who aren't using a cannon, even if it's a, a single combat, like they get all pissed off and they want to like, I don't know, ruin your cannoning. Like if I was at Hellhounds in the Taverly Dungeon, which is like a hell of walk to get all the way down there to the Hellhounds. And there's two main sections. You can go up a ramp and, and there's some Hellhounds, or you can go down the ramp and there's some Hellhounds. So I was on the top of the ramp with the cannon, and I'm like, this guy showed up who's, I think it was like a Zerker here. And uh, I'm like, hey, can you go down to the lower level and kill them? And I'll kill the ones up here so we don't have to interfere with each other. And he was like, no, dude. He was just like, he was just being an asshole. It was annoying. It's the only annoying thing about Slayer. You get, you know, you run into people who are just incredibly simple-minded. And, like, sometimes it's just better to, to kind of swallow your pride and hop worlds. I know it can be annoying, but, you know, oh, well. People can be annoying, so that's the uh, summary of that. So, is that, did I cover everything? Okay, we talked about the microphone situation. Again, if you still have any mics or you use this mics, recommend them. But hopefully this one shouldn't have any problems. Oh, yeah, the, I forgot to mention, or I did mention that it does have an eighth inch or a 3.5 millimeter jack. But this means I can use it if I want with my iPhone. Um, in school, I usually walk around like in between periods, listening to music, like I'm a pretty like good kid. I, you know, I'm not like just, you know, doing things in class and annoying the teachers, but in, in, in between classes, I like to listen to music and all sorts of music, dubstep, rock, punk rock, all the different kind of things like trance, EDM, things like that. And uh, house is pretty good as well. I've been getting into that. Um, and also just radio stuff like Howard Stern's a big favorite of mine. So, I like to listen to stuff, and some people have beats, but beats are like a billion dollars, so that's really not an option. So, uh, and now this headset is buzzing on the right ear. Great. Um, so this these can kind of be my welfare beats, I guess. I mean, that you need drivers for them. Like you can plug them in with with pretty much any headset. You can plug it in, and it'll work. But um, for ones like this, you want to get drivers for them. Obviously, you can't get drivers for them on the iPhone. But on the PC, they have drivers, so I'll be able to, you know, adjust the different uh, audio levels. The, the you know, I, I really not a big audio person. Like, I couldn't explain to you, you know, how to get more bass or treble with, like, all these different audio settings. But, you know, a lot of the times they come with presets anyway for different things. But uh, anyway, I'm, I'm, I am looking forward to the, the Siberia V2s coming in. But uh, it's a shame about the Corsair because the the actual audio quality was very good and the surround sound was was very. I mentioned in the last video I could listen to a song and the surround sound was very good. Um, like I didn't I couldn't imagine them being so much better than my uh, old headset, the Logitech H530, which is like the fifty dollar one. But they uh, they certainly were. It's just that annoying fucking issue. And the research I did on it, it said that. It's completely a software issue, but the fact is that Corsair really hasn't addressed it, in the, and there's no, the issue has been around for like a year since December, not a year, but but like almost a year, and the, there's they haven't released new drivers to fix it, so I'm done with that, and uh, at least I, I'm familiar with the Steel Series company because of their mouse pad, which is very nice. It's like a mouse pad that's like a foot long, so you can like, you know, it's kind of nice if you're playing. It's kind of nice having a big mouse pad. A lot of mouse pads are just, you know, very tiny. But it's kind of nice because, like, if you're playing, like, Black Ops or whatever, and you're, like, aiming, and then you got to, like, I don't know. If It's helpful to have a large mouse pad so you can just move around wherever you want instead of ha having to, like, constantly pick up your mouse. 
if you can hear it like that. It doesn't, not that loud, obviously, but, you know, it, it's nice having a big mouse pad. It really is. You know, if you're just like an accountant or something and you're using a lap or a computer, you don't really need a big mouse pad. But for gaming, and it helps. And all RuneScape, you really don't because RuneScape's screen is like, or at least this RuneScape, RuneScape 2007, and, and I guess RuneScape Classic, because the screen is like about a tenth of my entire screen if that, because I'm using a 1080p screen, and this is just a tiny little window which I'm playing this on. It's kind of stupid if you think about it, but I mean, you know, this is 07, and uh, let's keep it that way. They did a really weird job. If you type a long chat message in, like in the clan chat, and you have to like make actual words, but so I'm not going to bother. But like it ed edits it really. One thing they did, uh, like they made it so the uh, chat doesn't get blocked by the bank, which is kind of nice. A lot of people don't know that the inventory items in RuneScape used to be very laggy. Like if you would m say these T clogs right here, if I would want to move them over here, it wouldn't just be instantly. It would. Like, it would show me holding them like this. The second I let go, they would pop back over here and then pop back here. Like, it wouldn't be instant. So that is, you know, they, obviously when they went back and found the 2007 backup, it was probably a mess. They had to probably fix, like, Barbarian. They did for, fix Barbarianus all a lot. Construction. But there's plenty of other little things like this. Just moving items around so smoothly like that, which they, they certainly had to spend some time doing. So it's it's quite amazing that they got it out by my uh, birthday, the 20th, the exact day of my birthday, which is kind of nice. You know, maybe they actually know. I doubt it, but, you know. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. Join the friend chat, Andrew, AJT62. Like this video if you enjoyed. If you have any other headset recommendations, you know, let me know. I'll probably be sticking with uh, this one, but, you know, just in case I don't like it and I want to return it, let me know. See you guys later. Have a uh, good one.